welcome back to Christmas Corner. We are into the year 2022 of the Star Wars Hallmark Keepsake Ornament Collection and we have got a special one here. I know a lot of the viewers tend to like the, the Comic-Con ones and this is a celebration, Star Wars celebration one. But before we get into this one, I want to take the time to invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. And Give us a thumbs up. It does help us out greatly. You're going to want to be part of the uh, giveaway this year. And being subscribed to the ch this channel puts you in the running for both of the ornaments that we're giving away this year. We're giving away one at 100 subscribers and a second one at 250 subscribers. Hopefully we get to the one at 250 before Christmas. But if not, we'll just keep it running after till after Christmas. It may even be more fitting because it is a nightmare before Christmas ornament and if you get it after Christmas it can go on your Halloween tree. Yay. But for now this is the 2022 Star Wars Celebration event exclusive Bo-Katan and Dark Saber. When this ornament was released even though it doesn't say on the box they sold them at the convention for about 30 to 35 dollars and this ornament right now is going for about 130 us plus shipping on a few third-party site or ebay if you can find them. there's only 2500 of them there is only 2500 of these ornaments released wow. so it is a very limited run i got mine shipped to me days after yeah that was the one that you had kind of reserved before yeah, yeah. yeah. I, i've had someone goes in and buys it for me pretty much yeah anyway so let's go ahead we'll crack it open oh no we're not we're gonna read the back first this one actually has yeah. something on the back a gifted and legendary warrior bo katan rose from the renegade death watch gang to become ruler of the mandalorian later being removed from that role by the empire her quest to once again wield the ancient dark saber powerful symbol of mandalorian leadership has led her into conflict with the black blades current possessor din Djarin. nerdy nugget mm -hmm. i like that that's your nerdy nugget for the day. Yep. And the dark saber is now in the possession of the Mandalorian, right. Din Djarin. And before that, in the cartoon, uh, the Re Rebels. I have, do remember Rebels. Yes. What was her name? Uh, it had it on the tip of my tongue. <sighs> Sabine. Yes. Yeah, yes. Sabine Is that right? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Okay, the dark saber is really cool. It is. That's really awesome. All right, we'll put the saber down. We'll concentrate on Bokatan here. Love that artwork on the helmet. Yeah. It I really looks it. good. The owl. Owls, birds. Yeah, it looks really awesome. The detailing on the costume is incredible. It almost looks like Django Fett, but it's clearly not. But Mandalorian, right? They all look the same? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful, you'll upset someone by saying that. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. I like the. Soka one that we got last year with the helmet. So yes. Last year, I like that one. And the dark saber. Yeah, the dark saber is really, really cool. It's got the crackly lightning on the black of it. Like the hook on the head. Yeah. yeah, these are really awesome. Yeah, I hope they're awesome. I expect these ones to be better when they come, simply because they're limited additions and their value gets crazy well with 2500 they have to be yeah amazing right i mean the detail the, the little symbols on yeah. the crest yeah they're really awesome really well made yep another one that i'm happy with yeah. from the uh, event exclusive collection yeah these ones are really impressive not like the other ones the other ones like the the 3PO and the R2 that came out from, I think that was also a Comic-Con. They were heavy. They were they metal. They were, yeah. They, this is yeah. just plastic. She's a little heavier than your typical plastic. 
she's uh, got a little bit more a little, weight. A little more girth to her. A little bit, but I mean, nowhere near the the metal ones that yeah. we have. Those some of the, those ones are really heavy. Yeah. That falcon, I was terrified to put on the tree. Oh yeah, the the regular falcon, the silver one that came out last year. Yeah. It's you might as well be hanging a brick on the on yeah, the tree. Yeah, that thing was crazy. So I mean, I kind of appreciate their the heavier ornaments that give you that little bit of extra strength unless you're putting it on a weak tree well if you tried to put that on a real tree you'd yeah. be in big trouble snap it off you wouldn't be able to put it on a real tree that's that heavy anyway uh, all right well we're gonna go find some hooks for these and we'll put them on the tree meet us over at the tree we'll see what they look like all right welcome back to the tree as you can see we have the wreath and the garland and the small tree with the minis on it and this is the star wars tree all the way up and all the way down what we're looking for the 2022 event exclusive and, and as the tree spins they are right here Bo-Katan and the Darksaber. Do hope you have a very good day. <laughs>